An unseasonal sandstorm has swept across the Middle East. The bad weather has gripped Syria since Sunday. Reports say at least three people in the central province of Hama died from the sandstorm on Tuesday. Nearly 4,000 have suffered suffocation and respiratory problems. Monitor groups say reduced visibility has prompted the Syrian government to call off airstrikes against rebel fighters. In Lebanon, three people died and more than 1,700 others have been hospitalized with breathing problems. The storm reached the capital Beirut on Tuesday after it engulfed the Beka region and north of the country. I've never seen this before. Many people are suffering from respiratory problems and hospitals are overwhelmed with those seeking treatment. The sandstorm is adding woes to residents in Beirut, where trash has piled up on the streets this summer. The stinking situation has sparked almost daily protests and a political crisis. The sandstorm this time is really big, but it's still much easier to deal with than the garbage and the bad smell on the street. The storm also brings extra misery to tens of thousands of Syrian refugees who stay in makeshift camps with limited shelter. Egypt and Jordan are not spared either. In Jordan, schools shut down or cut their days short. Authorities have urged people to stay indoors, especially those with health issues. Weather forecast says the dust will begin to dissipate late on Wednesday.